Anachronos is a legendary minion that makes all other minions on the board disappear. But only for two turns. Then they reappear on the board. Now, normally you use this to deal with the opponent's board for a couple of turns, but I randomly generated a copy of this the other day and realized you can actually use it to pretty effectively set up your own combos, which is what I'm going to be doing today with Kael'thas Sinstrider. Kael'thas says every third minion you play in a turn costs zero mana, so we want to go Kael'thas plus some filler minion and then play a zero mana Anachronos, which sends our Kael'thas two turns into the future. Then on the turn when Kael'thas comes back, we combine it with Bran Bronzebeard and Astalor, as well as whatever little one cost minions we have sitting around, for a 56 damage combo to close out the game. I do like Bannerman, and last time I checked, Cariel Rome had a ridiculous mulligan win rate for some reason, so I'll keep her. It's probably not aggro, since they just hero-powered on turn two. But it's still kind of nice to have a Consecration. Really? It's not too heavy. Really? Really? It's not too heavy. Easy carry all room. I think the equality consecration combo is probably particularly good against Dragon Paladin because they play dragons and those are minions. I think putting the two in there makes sense. If I kill the one one, then this kills both of my three threes. I guess I consecrate this. I can start with Vitality Surge, I suppose. I don't know. It's not an insane equality consecration, but I think it's fine. I've got Leviathan coming down next turn. Does this get Divine Shield? It does, okay. Okay, my opponent's kind of popping off. This is not buffed at all. Order in the court's pretty good. Alright. I just need to find Bran and Anachronos, which is pretty easy with Order in the Court. Happy to see that actually taking damage. Ran bronze beard. Oh. 
Don't mind if I do with the brand bronze beard. Uh, so I pretty much have everything I need. I play Cariel next turn, and then I Anachronos on 10, and kill on 12. I could lose to this card. If they leave up the Leviathan's Claw, I can Anachronos this turn. Although, I don't know, it's kind of bad if I have, like, so much garbage in play. Oh, right. I'm trading this into that. And then I'm just going to trade off my board here. Doesn't really matter what I take here. Alright, alright. So I have Cariel Flash of Light to survive next turn. Should be pretty reliable. Their carry all doesn't really do anything. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. Alright, let's hope that I actually understand how my combo works. Because I will tell you a little bit of what happened behind the curtain. I had a game where I didn't know how it worked. Alright. Kael'thas in play. We Bran. We Astalor. That gives two big Astalors. We play the first for zero mana. And it does 28 damage. We then play two more one drops, which makes the other Astalor zero mana. And does 28 more damage. Nice. Exactly what we built the deck to do. Alright, Priest is definitely a class we can potentially bully. And Bannerman is a good start. Shouldn't... well, it depends a lot on what the Priest is. Yeah, Shadow Priest, I probably need the City Tax. I might have to coin Equality City Attacks next turn. I missed one damage. Oops. Probably doesn't really matter. Alright, well next turn is Bannerman plus a couple 2-2 rushers. Really, it's not too heavy. I think it's fine to just play these.
next turn, I guess, is probably just Flash of Light plus a 4 mana 6-6. Six, six. 4 mana 6-6 six, six isn't that bad. definitely don't feel like I'm winning this game, but I'm like kind of stabilizing-ish. Probably just an acronosing here. Not exactly the Anachronos I want, but I think it's the Anachronos I'm stuck with. Of the past. Yeah, I don't really know what the plan is for winning this game. Other than just beat them to death with Anachronos. Oh wow, that was really, really terrible for the opponent. Probably do have to trade my guy, unfortunately. Alright, pretty good. Uh, I think this is actually just going face when I have two taunts in play. Alright, well if they can get my minions out of the way, that one-shots me. Taunt, I can Anixia through that. And my opponent should just be dead. I don't even have to play Nixia because I have Leviathan. That minion already attacked. What? That, 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 that minion already, that minion already attacked. Is that how that's supposed to work? Alright, still lethal. attempting to keep equality against Evolve Shaman, or even Swarm Shaman, but Knight of Anointment hits inequality pretty often. Definitely happy to see Spammy Arcanist. Alright, easy banner man turn. More bones to Don't coin muck pools. They didn't. What a noob. Alright, well my hand is terrible right now. I 
could spam me here, but I don't know if I really need to. I got muck pooled. Maybe spammy gets to trade in. Okay, well, Leviathan ends up being really good here. Probably pretty nice to have an equality. Embracing cold, huh? Nine cards in hand is fine. Alright, clear their board. It only costs me a spammy Arcanist. Well, Baron Gudden was disgusting here, but that's okay. Is it okay? It's so disgusting. I'm so upset. Let's just heal up Leviathan. That's probably an okay play, right? Probably gonna have to play my Equality City tax here. Although that thing doesn't summon when it dies, right? No, it does. Okay. Well, that's disgusting. Luckily, Baron Geddon kills the Divine Shield on that minion. So it still gets cleared. Am I equality clearing? I believe so. All are equal under the light. Spending mana on the hero power here kind of sucks. Uh, really? So I think I will not do that. Speaking of kind of sucks. Other than the Mackie roll, those kind of sucked. Mackie roll's pretty decent though. What an extremely greedy deck. To my everlasting uh, well, shit. Did pick up Astalor. Probably just need to Anachronos and hope I draw well. How much damage does this do to me? 5, 7, 11, 17. I guess I don't have to Anachronos this turn.
All right, a very mediocre turn. Need to draw Bran. I probably need to draw Bran and Ram Commander. I don't know. I'm not in a very good spot here. Alright, this board is not nearly as scary as the previous one. This guarantees equality. Probably need to save equality for next turn. What if I simply heal this turn? Alright, well, I drew an equality without needing to play Knight of Anointment. I mean, I can still play Bran with this Astalor and have two Astalors in the long run, but it's not very combo-y. Divine Toll is a pretty strong card. Quality is a pretty strong card. I definitely still have game. Probably just a quality Astalor here. Nothing too flashy. Surely Divine Toll hits that once, right? Why am I still winning this game?
Oh. Changed the art on their card. I don't get too much damage face here, but my opponent's fatiguing, so I don't need that much. Wow, that actually killed one of my minions. I was really lucky. Oh, and now I probably lose. Absolute fucking trash being offered to me here. I'm actually still winning. No clue what my opponent has left, though. Wow. Alright, well, sometimes you just grind them out. 